What's up guys, All Fast Food Chains 94 here, and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a Pizza Hut slash Wing Street, because, uh, you know, if you come back here it says Wing Street. Uh, now the reason I decided to do this was, well, originally it just was going to be a Pizza Hut, but then I remembered that some Pizza Huts have uh, Wing Streets attached to them, like not the actual building, but like the logo, like they're or in business together, like, when Pizza Hut gets their wings, I think they get it from Wing Street, so. And obviously, that's optional, you don't, it's pretty much just a Pizza Hut, just with Wing Street written, but obviously the build still looks like a Pizza Hut, but, I mean, you don't have, you really don't have to add the, uh, Wing Street. Uh, I probably won't add it on my original, I just, uh, at the last second, literally, I just thought of that. Um, like I was about to do just a tutorial, then I was like, oh wait, I could also put a Wing Street back here. So, that's why that is there, but that's kind of dumb, honestly. You really don't have to do that. You can just make it a Pizza Hut, it'll look perfectly fine. But, yeah, but, uh, yeah, really nice looking build here. Um, and then again, shout out to Crazy Wolf for requesting this. Um, he also requested that, that I make the Chick-fil-A. Um, so yeah, big shout out to him, but, uh, yeah, so, pretty nice looking build, and then, um, so yeah, I mean, without any further ado, let's get into it. So, you're gonna need gray concrete, oak leaves, white concrete, yellow carpet, uh, any kind of flowers, and then oak leaves. Luckily, we don't have to make outside eating areas this time, because I don't think they have it, but... Yeah, so it's a 20 by 22 block grid on the ground to make Pizza Hut slash Wing Street. Uh, you have to make this uh, regardless of where you're putting this build. Um, so, yeah. And keep in mind this build does not have a drive through but you can always add one. Feel free to always add any drive throughs to any of this. I, it, like, I don't really care, honestly. You guys can do whatever you want, but... Yeah, so 20 by 22 to make Pizza Hut slash Wing Street. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to grab uh, gray concrete, come to the left side, knock out one, two, three, four rows, and replace it with gray. And then come to, uh, leave a gap of, uh, let's just do it and then we'll figure it out later. So just at the end here, place four gray concrete. And then right here, in between this uh, destroy it and replace it with grass block and then place oak leaves on top like this all right simple as that and then grab gray concrete go up by one two three rows with your gray concrete extend it all the way to this side and then go down one two three like that um and yeah so this will be the parking lot of course yeah so um i I am going to be making more common builds, as I said. Pizza Hut's a pretty common restaurant, so, yeah. Anyways, that's what you want to have. And then grab white concrete, go up by, uh, one, two, three, four with your white. Obviously, uh, you can make these bigger. You can, you can, I would recommend it if you're making a city. Then leave a gap of three, one, two, three, four whites. Gap of three, one, two, three, four whites. Gap of three, one, two, three, four whites, and then gap of three, one, two, three, four whites, and then uh, we ran out of room, so what we can do is we can just uh, follow these and then just destroy, destroy these, um, these, like, these three rows to the right of the thing, and just replace it with grass block, these three rows to the right of the white concrete, and then actually make this uh, four, total of four like that, and then just do oak leaves down here, and then just put any pattern of flowers in here, uh, doesn't matter, it'll look nice, I'm sure, so yeah, so that's what you want to have, and then inside we can do just some gray concrete, uh, inside here, okay, so just fill this area in with gray concrete, um, yeah, so, dang it. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
and I forgot smooth stone, but we'll get that later in. Um, I will ask you guys in the comments what common build I could make next. I don't really know, but that's what you want to have, and then place yellow carpet. My final city build, uh, cause, uh, when I'm done with my city builds, the last one is gonna be number 1000. I know that seems like a lot, but place yellow carpet on top there. And now we need smooth stone, so, um, but yeah, like I was saying, my final city build will be, uh, uh, McDonald's. But that will be in like years probably. Alright, so grab smooth stone, then just place a simple row of smooth stone behind here. Okay. One row. Really easy, just smooth stone behind everything you just made. And now I believe we can do the building, so let's see, yeah, we can, so. Let's get rid of all those. For the building, you're going to need jungle wood planks. You're going to need white stained glass. Uh, you can grab any door, but I would highly recommend dark oak door because if you used... Here, let me just show you guys because I don't think we're too far in. If you use, like, oak door, I mean, that looks fine, but uh, I just think it looked... Like, doesn't it just look better with dark oak door because it kind of contrasts against the colors a little better? So I'd recommend... I'd highly recommend dark oak door, but do whatever you want. You're going to need string, green carpet, uh, yellow concrete, red uh, concrete, you're going to need black concrete, I don't really have any more room for it, uh, shoot, yeah, no, I don't, but I'll get it later. Um, and then you're going to need red banner, for, for to, if you're making Pizza Hut only, you're, all you're going to need is red banner, and uh, you're going to need red banner, red dye and white dye. But if you're making Wing Street, you're going to need red banner, red dye, and yellow dye. Um, but yeah, so first we can do the, um, the thing, <laughs> the thing, the, um, so we could just place a simple row of jungle wood planks going all the way around the remainder of your grid. So starting, um, not on your smooth stone, one row behind your smooth stone. Yeah, because that wouldn't make any sense if it started on your smooth stone, because then it's like, what's the point of placing smooth stone, you know? So just place it right there. Uh, and I think we also need white concrete. Yeah, we need white concrete more than the more than the string and carpet, honestly. So just grab uh, white concrete. So now uh, place jungle planks at the ends here. All right. And then grab uh, white concrete, uh, place white concrete, gap of two, white, gap of two, white. Same on here, white concrete, gap of two, white, gap of two, white. And then uh, place jungle planks in, uh, in there. And then destroy in here, you can place uh, your door, your double doors, and then just raise the white concrete set by one, like this, and then place jungle planks uh, on top of your um, white concretes and right here as well and then uh, glass block in there and then you can place just some whoops darn it you can place some uh, oh my god some glass pane in there so yeah <sighs> Right. All right. So that's what you want to have. And now let's just work on the sides. Get them over with. So uh, on this side, just do uh, two white concretes. Leave a gap of two. Two white concretes. Gap of two. Two white concretes. So you should have two windows. And then you can um, put the rest with jungle wood planks. And also, you feel free to just have one window or no windows because when uh, with Pizza Huts, like when you walk into them, they're not like like some of them, like the ones now, like you don't really find Pizza Huts that you can sit down in anymore. Like, I, I, at least I haven't noticed a Pizza Hut that you can sit down in anymore. Like most of them you just, it's more like, it's more like, kind of like Little Caesars now where you just go in and uh, uh, order your pizza, tell the person what you want, uh, but you can't actually like sit down there. I mean there might be some, 
still, I'm sure there are some still, but I really haven't. I, the last one I went in was probably like 20, 2018. Yeah, I went in a Pizza Hut in 2018, and, like, literally, like, like, you, you could sit down, and it had a gumball machine, and it was pretty cool. It's like a classic Pizza Hut like this, not like the more modern ones, because this is a classic Pizza Hut. This is more of like an old school styled Pizza Hut, but anyways, <laughs> I was rambling so bad there, but just, um, do what I did. I'm sorry, that's all I can tell you. So now we can work on the, the cool part, the little roof here that Pizza Hut has, at least this style of Pizza Hut. Like I said, this is the more classic looking Pizza Hut, so you can grab black concrete, yellow concrete, red concrete, oh, and we can also grab uh, string, yeah, grab string, and that should be it. So uh, before we begin that, uh, I would recommend just placing some string on top here, and then placing green carpet, because Honestly, that just makes it look so, like, like, honestly, it really does look, make it look ten times better, because, like, Pizza has a little green in their logo, and I was trying to figure out where I could, like, add some green, and, uh, I, I do like this feature, too, and shout out to TSMC, uh, he's probably not watching this, but shout out to him for that idea, um, but yeah, so it's just a nice little feature you can do, um, alright, and then you can, um, now I can actually work on the roof. So, grab yellow concrete, come to this side here, and then do, uh, not yellow concrete, like, on it, but, like, yellow concrete, like, one row back, like this, and then just place yellow concrete going all the way around. Um, and yeah, so, and the wing street colors are yellow and black, um, but, yeah, I don't know why I said that, that was really random, but, that's what you want to have. Then you can grab red concrete, then uh, place red concrete going out like this. Like not on top of it, but see it, how it's like out of the thing. The yellow concrete like this. Um, Alright, like, like that. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, that looks nice. And then you can just do, uh, uh, and then you want to do three more rows, so a total of four rows of red concrete. So that's one two, three, like that, even though it, we're going to have to destroy those later, because you guys will see, and I don't know if you guys can hear right now, but my phone is ringing, or not my phone, but the house phone, but yeah, uh, so yeah, like I said, we'll have to destroy that, but uh, that's just to get you guys started, so yeah, so you should have, I'll show you guys, you should have a total of four, and then just, uh, like I'm doing, just wrap these around like this. Um, and, hold on, let me just do that, whoops, dang it, oh my god, come on, <sighs> really, really Minecraft, Minecraft screws me over, maybe it's j maybe I just cannot build, no, see, like, like, little stuff like that, like, that's what I'm talking about, it's just so, it's like, come on, really, but, that's what you want to have, so, that looks pretty nice, uh, I really like how that looks, it, it, it's just a really nice classic design um, and now we can do the little tower so to do that we will need to do okay so to do that uh, grab red concrete and then go up by uh, one and two and then just bring that around all the way like this so um, w uh, so two rows like so that is Dang it! So that is one. Alright, now let's get the second one here, and then that is two. Awesome! So, that's the little tower. And now we can grab uh, black concrete, and then just do uh, black concrete going around here, like this. It's almost like uh, the long jump, oh, never mind, the LJS, because remember I said that I would never say that name again, because I'm just tired of it, but anyways, just do that. Bring the bring the black concrete around. Gosh darn it. Seriously. Was, yeah. So that's what you want to have. That looks really awesome. Then grab black concrete, then just fill in the roof with black concrete. And once you've done that, um, that was probably one of the most simplest builds I've ever done, ever. 
um, besides from Auntie Annie's. Auntie Annie's was amazingly simple. That, took, that was literally like 13 minutes, but once you've done that, guys, that is literally pretty much Pizza Hut 100% complete. That was so simple. Wow, I cannot believe it. That was very simple. And then you can just, I already told you guys the materials, or not the materials, the, um, the banners and whatnot, what you're going to need. But once you've made them, for Pizza Hut, the placement is, um, you're going to leave a gap of one from the edge, and you're going to go P-I-C-C-A, then you're going to leave actually a gap of two, and then you're going to go H-U-T, like that. So, uh, perfectly even, and then you can get rid of those. And if you want to do Wing Street, I guess we'll just do Wing Street. Uh, you're just going to do, uh, obviously you need to make the banners, but, yeah, so... If you want to do Wing Street, you can just put it on the back. Of course, you don't have to do Wing Street, but I'm just going to do it to show you guys. So, uh, you just leave a gap of one, um, and then you do W-I-N-G, no spaces, S-T-R-E-E-T, -E -E and boom, guys, once you've done that, uh, that will be your Pizza Hut slash Wing Street 100% complete, guys. Um... Yeah, that was very simple. That was definitely one of the most simplest builds I've ever done. Way more simple than Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A was a little com complicated. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, smash a like. If you didn't, smash a dislike. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Thanks so much for watching.